Welcome to the Open Adex How to Video Series. This video is sponsored by Edgenext and presented by Juan Camilo Montoya, CEO. Numerical input problems allow you to build a wider array of problems, from basic numeric questions to more complex math problems. From your unit in Studio, select the problem component, and when prompted for the problem type, choose Numerical Input, and hit the Select button. There are two editing modes for building these basic problems. The first one is the default mode, which provides an intuitive user interface. As always, you can change the name of your problem component at the top. Next, you will find the question sections, where you can type and style the question with the visual text editor, including images, hyperlinks, and more, as needed. Select the phrase that best represents your question and tag it with the label button, so that this phrase is used to reference this specific problem. Next, there is the answer section, where you can add each possible correct response. These can be expressed as numbers, ranges, or simple mathematical expressions. The learner will enter the response, and the system will mark it as correct, as long as it is mathematically equivalent to any of the correct alternatives. For each possible response, you can use the icon on the right-hand side to add a feedback message that is shown to the learner when they enter an expression that equals this response. Note that you can't provide feedback for incorrect answer in numerical input problems. For integer responses, you and also the learner can decide to use decimal notation, scientific notation, or e-notation indistinctly. To accept as correct any integer in a specific range, you can use parentheses, brackets, or a combination of them to express whether the range excludes or includes the limit points. For mathematical expressions, you may use constants such as pi, e, and g, and common functions such, such as a square root, log 10, log 2, log number, exponential, absolute, and trigonometric functions. In the bar, on the right, you will find all the standard options to fine-tune your problem. The scoring card will let you set the number of attempts allowed and the points this question will grant when correct. You'll be able to add one or more hints for the learner to view before submitting the answer. If you span this section to see some more advanced settings, you can specify when the correct answer can be seen by learners, you can provide a text with an explanation for learners to understand the correct answer. And finally, you can specify the minimum acceptable time between consecutive attempts. The second editing mode is the advanced editor, which can be accessed by saving the problem first and then editing and clicking on this button in the corner. This will convert the problem to XML and HTML, so it will not be possible to access the simple editor anymore. But the advantage is that the XML format allows more flexibility to build the problem and configure advanced options, such as tolerance, partial credit, custom scripts, trailing text after the input box, or customized feedback labels. Check out the documentation to learn more about the advanced options available. After your problem is all set, you can use the Studio View to quickly test the problem or preview it in the LMS to verify the appearance and behavior before you publish it. 